Hey everyone, it's Sarah Threads to NurseRN.com and in this video we're going to be solving some capsules and tablets dosage calculations. And as always, whenever you get done watching this YouTube video, you can access the free quiz that will give you more practice problems. So let's get started. Our first problem says the physician writes an order to administer an oral medication. The order says administer 0.1 gram by mouth once daily. Pharmacy dispenses you with 100 milligrams per tablet. How many tablets do you administer per dose? So from this scenario, we have pulled out the most important information we need to know in order to solve our problem. So first we need to know what was ordered. The doctor ordered 0.1 gram once daily. Pharmacy has supplied us with tablets that say there is 100 milligrams per tablet. So every tablet we have, there's 100 milligrams in it. And our problem wants us to figure out how many tablets we're going to give with each dose. So this patient is only receiving it once per day and we need to figure out how we can give this many tablets in order to equal this dose. So to solve these problems, I'm going to use dimensional analysis. And I have a whole series that you can access where I show you how to work dimensional analysis and we work a bunch of different dosage calculation problems. So let's set up our problem. First, we're gonna start with what was ordered. So 0 0.1 gram was ordered and it's ordered once daily. So that's our dose, one dose. And we have to get tablets per dose. That's what we're trying to figure out. So we're supplied with tablets that are in milligrams. So right there, we're gonna to have to start converting. So remember, you have to know your metric table. Commit this table to memory. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna to get to milligrams. So from the metric table, we know that one gram equals a thousand milligrams. Grams cancels out. So we're now in milligrams and now we can plug in what we have on hand. So we have on hand tablets, so each tablet has 100 milligrams in it, equals one tablet. Okay, and we're where we need to get. We need to get to tablets per dose, so we're ready to solve. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom, and divide. So when we multiply everything at the top and bottom, we get 100 over and then we're going to divide that out. 100 divided by 100 is 1. So our answer is 1 tablet per dose is what this patient is going to receive. Our next problem says the physician writes an order to administer an oral medication. The order says administer 25 milligrams by mouth BID. Pharmacy dispenses you with 50 milligram tablets. How many tablets do you administer per day, not per dose? So we pulled from our scenario the most important information we need in order to solve. So we need to know what was ordered. So 25 milligrams twice a day, that's what BID means by mouth. And we're supplied with 50 milligram tablets. So each tablet is worth 50 milligrams. Now our problem wants us to solve for how many tablets are we gonna give for the whole day, not per dose. So make sure you really pay attention to that part of your problem because if you just solve for tablets per dose, you would get it wrong. Okay, so we're gonna use dimensional analysis to solve, and this is gonna be like a two-step problem. Okay, so we're gonna start out with what's ordered. So the physician ordered 25 milligrams. That is equal to one dose. And we are supplied with tablets that are 50 milligram tablets, so we don't have to convert like we did with our last problem, so we don't have to really use the metric table. So 50 milligrams is equal to one tablet. Okay, tablets per dose. So we'll go ahead and solve and then we'll plug in for our next step. So when you multiply everything at the top and everything at the bottom, you get 25, we're gonna with 50, and then we divide that out and we get 0.5 tablet per dose. So one dose is going to equal half a tablet, but we need to know how many tablets we're gonna give for the whole day. So we're gonna use dimensional analysis to demonstrate that. So we know that the patient needs two doses. That's what BID means. So two doses is how much they're gonna get in one day. And we know one dose 
equals half a tablet. Okay, dose, doses cancels out and we're left with tablets per day. And that is where we were trying to get, that was our destination. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom, and then divide and get our answer. So when you do that, one, one, divide that out, of course, you get one. So it's one tablet per day is what this patient will be receiving. Our next problem says the physician writes an order to administer an oral medication. The order says administer two milligrams per kilogram per dose by mouth every six hours as needed for pain. Pharmacy dispenses you with the following, 20 milligrams per capsule. The child weighs 22 pounds. How many capsules do you administer per day, not per dose? So again, we have pulled the most important information we need in order to solve this problem. So we need to know what's ordered. The physician has ordered two milligrams per kilogram per dose every six hours as needed for pain. So for every kilogram this child weighs, we're gonna give them two milligrams per dose. So our drug is weight-based and we're supplied with capsules that are 20 milligram capsules and we're given the patient's weight, which is 22 pounds and we need to know what to solve for. So we're solving for how many capsules we're gonna give them per day, so in that whole day, not per dose. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up our dimensional analysis, and this will be like a two-step problem like how we did before, where we solve for the individual dose, and then we'll figure out how many we're gonna give them the whole day. So first, what we're gonna start with is plugging in the patient's weight because this is in pounds. We have to get to kilograms because that's how it's ordered. So let's go ahead and plug that in. So our patient weighs 22 pounds. And we know from the metric table that there's 2.2 pounds in one kilogram. So pounds cancels out. Now we're ready to plug in what was ordered. So for every kilogram this patient weighs, we're gonna give them two milligrams per dose. Kilograms cancels out. Now we're gonna plug in what we are given, what we're supplied with. So we're given 20 milligram capsules. So there's 20 milligrams in one capsule. Okay, so milligrams cancels out and we're left with capsules per dose. But remember, we gotta to get to capsules per day. So we'll go ahead and solve this. Multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom. When you do that, you get 44 for the top, 44 for the bottom, you divide that out, and you get one capsule per dose. Now we need to figure out how many they can have for the whole day, because this patient can have this every six hours. So let's plug this in and figure it out. So we know that 24 hours equals one day. And we know that this patient can have this every six hours. Every six hours, what can they have? They can have one capsule. So that cancels out our hours and we're left with capsules per day, which is what we're trying to solve for. So we're gonna multiply everything at the top, everything at the bottom and divide. When you multiply everything at the top, you get 24. Everything at the bottom, you get six. Divide that out, you get four. So they can have four capsules per day. And that is our answer. Okay, so that wraps up this review over capsules and tablets. And if you'd like some more practice problems, don't forget to access that free quiz and to check out the other videos in this series.